Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Uh, no, that sounds stupid. Because they've been watching porn all day, so. Right. <laughs> Welcome <laughs> back to another if video. You've been, if you've been watching porn and you're suddenly tuning in to then barbecues. I about, then I have about five minutes to keep you entertained. <laughs> <laughs> you just got done rubbing one out. Let's move on to something else. Right. <laughs> Welcome back to the shop. Uh, today, we're going to build uh, something special. i got a buddy here that uh, <clears throat> gets a hold of a lot of different stuff, and he got himself a hold of a water tank. You can kind of see in the background. Nope, over there. Over there, right there. And uh, Jason's just pulling in, so that's fantastic as well, because he's got always got shit to work on. But today, we're going to work on that their water tank and we're going to be turning it into a big badass barbecue for my buddy Mike here. Um, we're going to start just by cutting the door out of it. Uh, it's already marked off. We've got some green tape there. Right where we're going to cut the door and we're going to go a little bit past center. And so we're just going to cut that out real quick with the uh, skinny wheel on an angle grinder. Uh, take some of the paint off so that we can put the hinge on and weld inside the, uh, the support for the door so that it doesn't collapse back in on itself. Uh, and then we're going to take some paint off. So let's make some sparks. <laughs> I'm totally an idiot because I forgot to turn the mic on. So what we've got is we've got some 1 inch by 8 inch flat bar. And I've got it cut to 26 inches. When I cut the, the curved side of the water tank at 24 inches. So 26, we've got an inch overlap on either end. And we're going to go ahead, after I cut the other one, we're going to bend these and weld these in for the perimeter of the door. So that when the door comes down it rests on this instead of falling into the tank. Hey, Tucker Bob. Hello.
all right. So what I got, we got the the uh, two curved perimeter pieces bent. I've got her <coughs> clamped up in there right now. We're gonna weld the top and then weld the top and then start moving those clamps down the perimeter as we get down so we get the whole thing conformed nice and and smooth to the other side there. There's a certain electricity when I talk, even though my ethnicity is white as chalk. All this publicity is quite a shock, so keep your hands high and your light is locked. I'm silly, ass slacker, the rap mad hatter, slap your ass backwards, now your ass backwards, plus you a bastard and it really don't matter that I'm white and I'm a rapper, so get back and kick back or break it like a kick cat. I flow so sick that I'd beat you like a bitch, slap so stop all the bliss, smack a bump of the Guns, Cause your flow's really faulty like some counterfeit buns I'm accumulating puns This level's unachievable It's unbelievable Don't get close cause my gun's retrievable Understandable Got it Underhanded dude Don't make me damage you <laughs> Certain electricity When I talk Even though my ethnicity is Quite as chalk All this publicity is Quite as chalk So keep your hands hot And your body is locked I spit bad verbs and bad words At these mad nerds and actors Never had words to spit it, who never had the nerve to get it, I'm like Troy, is there no one else, it's your boy, and I can handle myself, there's a certain electricity, I'm about to make history, you looking pissed at me, my ethnicity is mystically, fresh clean like Listerine, make my dreams reality like Freddy on Elm Street, I'm heavy on middle beats, and my skills speaks, but these songs keep getting thrown, through my window, it's in my skin tone, that they don't condone, condone. there's a certain electricity, when I talk, even though my ethnicity is white as chalk, all this publicity is quite a shock. So keep your hands high and your light is locked. Readjusting, easy for my clientele to stay in the streets deep. Cause I know crime sells with high bills and felonies. I'm labeled critical situations, got me feeling like I'm strangled. So I hit angles and keep on smashing. Always about money, it's a bad money habit. It's the illegitimate, inconsiderate, village idiot. You're insignificant, like asking for 50 cent, but that's just a little bit. Doors open, we ride with West Siders. In cars that talk to you, call us the night riders. We tight like flyers, and we make Saturday night live like Mike Myers. There's a certain electricity when I talk, even though my ethnicity is quite as strong. All this publicity is quite as strong, so keep your hands high and your light is locked. So we're just going to go in from the edge, six inches in to the edge of our hinge on both sides and I've already got them marked out and put it in place, get the middle of the hinge lined up, 
circle with your sharpie and then go over with your spring loaded center punch and whack the middle of all of those and we're going to drill these out because when you're filling in or when you're welding a hinge in just taking the metal off and welding the, the middle of the hinge on works okay but if you want a good penetrated weld you actually drill all the way through the piece that you're attaching the hinge to as well to get that good penetration and I think what we're going to do is just drop a quarter inch bolt in the middle holes to suck them in and hold them there and make sure everything's lined up for when we go ahead and weld these. We're going to go ahead and drill these out right now. Alright, so did a little bit more work off camera to this tank, um, mostly because I knew that the hippies wouldn't like the way I removed the uh, paint from this tank here, but let's flip it around, and there she be in all her glory, still a little bit warm because I just got done washing it and drying it off, with the torch, with the torch, but here's our hinges, so we went ahead and drilled all the way through and welded them in and then our bead along the back side and then I went and put a tack on either side just so that right now when this is all the way open there's not a lot of strain right here. Watch out Tucker, I'm going to okay. open this guy up. Mostly I didn't want the weight of the lid pulling and bending this up away from the hinge so I just went and threw a a couple tacks on her on either side uh, just to hold it there we've got all the perimeter done and it looks really nice and I went ahead for the most part, it's a little tight right here. I can nip just a little bit off on the door. But I went and while I was heating this up right along this line and this line, I went over it with a hammer and relieved the stress on that on the door so that it doesn't want to it doesn't want to suck in here anymore. It's just a nice even fit anyway that's uh that's all for part one man if i could just keep myself in the frame i'd be happy as a pig in shit right now where am i going there am i going all right uh so that's it oh yeah i lost a little bit there oh well that happens. Uh, anyway, man, lighting. This camera's a little bit to get used to. Okay, we got some good lighting on my face. That's too much lighting on my face because you can see it. Okay, so that's it for today. Uh, part two, we're going to end up making the grill grate. Uh, welding on the angle on the inside, welding on the angle on the outside. Um, we're going to end up cutting the rest of the feet off and we're going to do a little bit more stuff. So thank you for watching part one. Uh, if you're new here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I think it's over there. I don't know. Or up there. I'll probably put it up there. Uh, hit subscribe. Go ahead and, and hit the other link that will uh, take you back to the last video that I made. And uh, give her a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. And have a nice day. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.